Good day. In this video, we're going to show you ways to possibly solve these exponential expressions. They are all taken from the Mind Action Grade 11 textbook. The heading says, simplify the following without using a calculator. You may send a message to this number to arrange a personalized online lesson in mathematics. The heading for each sum in this video is simplify without using a calculator and write your final answer with positive exponents. Here is our first expression. The 5 has an exponent of 1. a to the power of 0 is 1 and that whole bracket to the power of 0 is 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Next question looks like this. We will cube everything inside this bracket. We take that minus 1 and we will cube it. Write the 2 down with the power of 1 and multiply that 1 with that 3. Write the x down and times the 3 with that 3. Write the y down and times that 2 with that 3. Final answer, minus 8, x to the power of 9, y to the power of 6. Next expression looks like this. Firstly, we will times that 3 with that 2 and let this part wait. It gives us 3 to the power of 6 times 3 to the power of 2. Then we write down the base and we add the exponents. Get 3 to the power of 8. Please stop the video and get your brain around these three sets of calculations. Next expression looks like this. Firstly, we prime factorize all the numbers we have. That 4 becomes a 2 square and the 6 becomes 2 times 3. We finish the top first, then the bottom, and then we divide them into each other later. We take that x square times the x to the power of 4, I add the exponents, take the y to the power of 1, y to the power of 3 which I'm multiplying, then I add the exponents, I keep the bottom, I prime factorize the 6. If you simplify this, it will look like this, you can cancel that 2 and that 2, you end up with 4 over 3 and what you have here. Next we can cancel, this goes in here once and goes in there once. We cancel the y to the power of 4, put the 1 over there and here we have a y square left. Then this is our final answer. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Like we said, we're busy working through this set of problems. Next question looks like this, that we must simplify. First we simplify inside the bracket. We say 3 goes in there 4 times and 3 goes in there 5 times. And we move this y to the power of minus 2 to the top to make it positive. Now we're going to square the whole bracket, so we're going to square this minus 1 times that 2 with that 1, the 2 with that 3, the 2 with that 2, and the 2 with that 1. We'd have to stop the video, then the expression will look like this. And usually you may stop here, but you might want to go one step further. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. The following sum we're going to do in two different ways. You could say 2 goes into 10 5 times and 2 goes into 4 twice. Then you cancel y to the power of 4, you write a 1, you cancel y to the power of 4 down there, and that gives you y square. So you can see how we got the answer in the bracket and keep to the power of minus 2. Then you take that minus 2 and you multiply it in to each exponent inside the bracket, which gives you this, and now you make all the exponents positive by moving them up or down. Then your sum will look like this. The 5 to the minus 2 came down and it became a positive 2, 2 to the minus 2 went up, became 2 to the positive 2. y to the minus 4 went up and became a y to the power of 4. And then you have your final answer. There is another way you could have done it. If you have a fraction inside a bracket with a negative exponent, there is a law that says you can flip this fraction over and make that into a positive exponent. The bottom goes up and the top comes down, and that becomes a positive exponent then. And then you simplify further. You might want to prime factorize the numbers inside the bracket. Simplify the part inside the bracket, it'll end up looking like this. And then you can multiply this 2 into each one of those exponents, and then you still have the same final answer. I think it's a good idea to understand both these methods. You might want to use the one on a different kind of sum one day. Stop the video and get your brain around this. The next expression looks like this, that we must simplify. We're first going to simplify the top then the bottom, and then we simplify them into each other. We square that minus 1, which becomes a plus, 
Let me times that 1 with that 2. That's 3 to the power of 2. Times that 2 with that 2. It's A to the power of 4. Times that 4 with that 2. It's B to the power of 8. At the bottom, we keep the 3. And we times that 3 with that 2 gives us a 6. Times that 3 with that 1 gives us a 3 there. And we can cancel again. 3 goes in there once. Cancel one of those 3s. There's a 3 left. Cancel the A to the power of 4. Put the 1 there. Cancel A to the power of 4 out of there. Gives us an A to the power of 2. Cancel the B to the power of 3 once there. And cancel out the B to the power of 3. That leaves us B to the power of 5 up there. And then that is our final answer. In this sum, you had to work out the top first, then the bottom, and then bring them together. Let's do two more special sums. When we have a plus in a sum like here, it breaks the sum into two pieces. Of course, we're multiplying. 3 times 3 is 3 squared. And we add the exponents because the bases are the same. Gives you x to the power of 6. Keep the square on the outside. Keep the plus. Here we have to see the like terms. We've got 3 of these plus 3 more of the same. Gives us 6 of them. 6x cubed, all squared. Now we times that exponent in to each one of those exponents. It will give us 3 to the power of 4, x to the power of 12. Then here we have 6 squared is 36, times the 2 with the 3 is x to the power of 6. You may stop here because there are unlike terms, but you might want to go one step further and stop here. Last expression of this video we have to simplify. In this case, you're not allowed to take this x to the power of minus 1 and the y to the power of minus 1 straight up to the top because it's a plus holding them down. You first make them positive where they stand and write them as 1 over x plus 1 over y. Keep the top. Then we keep the top and we add these two fractions. We shall end up looking like this. You write your LCD and you find the top. I just rewrote this over here again, so we have x plus y all over this fraction. Then you can write this x plus y all over 1, and write the bottom, tip and times it, because there's a divide over there. You write it times over here, and you flip this over and write it over there. You can cancel. This bracket goes in here once, and goes in there once. Final answer, x, y. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. And enjoy exponents.